so term structure and interest rate dynamics this reading is uh, a mix of uh, what we have learned at level 1 so about 70% of the reading actually is repetition of what we did at level 1 and about 30% of the reading uh, we have some fancy mathematical models okay so the most of the reading revolves around your understanding of uh, concepts like spot rates then uh, forward rate and then the ytm so let us do a comprehensive example on this so that we can link all of these values together let us say we have a bond which has a face value of 1000 coupon rate of this bond is 10% maturity of the bond is 4 years and we have some data available with us mostly on spot rates okay so spot rates alternatively are also referred to as zero rates so you can either call them as spot rate or you can call them as zero rates we call them as zero rates because they because they same as ytm on a zero coupon bond so let's say we have spot rate for year 1 or year 2 and year 2 and year 3 and year 4 let's say that's 5% i'm intentionally going to keep the distance very large 12% and 15% okay so based on this data what are the questions question number 1 you have to find out value of the bond question number 2 you have to find out ytm on this bond yield to maturity question number 3 find out one year forward rates one year forward rate one year from now two year from now and three years from now and question number 4 calculate value of the bond using forward rate are we okay so we do valuation on these I mean, we find out these four points in the question. करो चारों खत्म करो. Let's so let's do it together. Step number one: If you have the spot rates, we will do the valuation of respective cash flow using respective spot rate. So we have four cash flows: hundred plus hundred. Plus hundred and plus eleven hundred. The first cash flow discounted for one year using first year spot rate, so that would be one point zero five raised to one. Then one point zero seven raised to two. One point one two raised to three, and one point one five raised to four. How much is the value coming out to be? Eight eighty two. Point six eight. Then step number two, understanding the YTM. So YTM is that single rate at which, when you discount the cash flow, it will push that bond price to be equal to eight eighty two. So we will say hundred divided by one plus R raised to one plus hundred divided by one plus R raised to two plus hundred divided by one plus R raised to three. Plus eleven hundred divided by one plus r raised to four, and then this present value should come out to be eight eighty two point six eight. So the only way we can calculate that r is using trial and error. A trial and error, which means we can make use of the TVM row of your calculator. So you can set eight eighty two point six eight as your present value, one thousand as your So 882.68 should be negative present value, 1000 future value, 100 payment, 4 as n, then compute I by. How much? 14.028 percentage. So this one single rate will satisfy the equation. We call this is YTM. What you want to appreciate is this YTM is a complex weighted average of these numbers. so you can say weighted average 
okay so how to get those weights don't get into that part but know that it is a some sort of a complex weighted average of all the spot rates and we can easily say that 15 person has the highest weight correct right? because your weighted average is coming out to very very close to that 15 person number are we okay now step number three how to calculate forward rates so one year forward rate one year from now which would be written as forward rate after one year for one year and that would be calculated as 1.07 raised to 2 divided by 1.05 raised to 1 minus 1 how much 9.04 4 then forward rate after 2 years for 1 year so that would be f 2 comma 1 now get acquainted with this because that's how curriculum has uh, presented forward rates so that would be 1.12 raised to 3 divided by 1.07 raised to 2 minus 1 22.71 and then the last one which is forward rate after three years for one year so 1.15 raised to 4 divided by 1.12 raised to 3 minus 1 how much 24.49 percentage so these are your so these are your forward rates now once we have the forward rate then instead of using 1.15 raised to 4 we can substitute this number we can say this number would be same as 1.05 into 1.090904 into 1.2271 into 1.2449 cross check if they come out to be same value this number could be written as 1.05 into 1.0904 into 1.2271 this number is 1.05 into 1.0904 and this number is simply 1.05 so by making use of this forward rates we can discount back the cash flows and get the valuation of the bond <laughs> right the thought process behind the forward rate valuation when you discount with this number from four years you brought the valuation to three years because it is one year forward rate after three years yes or no then again when you discount it for one year from three years you brought it to two years then you discount by this so from two year to one year and then one year to zero now here that you are already at three from three to two two to one one to zero are you following this then you are at 2, so 2 to 1, 1 to 0, and then this is simply 1 to 0. Do you want to ask any questions here? Yes, no? So, what I have understood, what you are saying is, that for 2 years, we have 1.07 raised to 2. Yes. Yes. So, we are not using 1.05 into 1.07. Is that what you are saying? So you can't because this 7% is the rate for both the years. You can't use it only for second year. Spot rate does not mean that this is a rate applicable from year 1 to year 2. It means that this is rate applicable for both years. This means it is rate applicable for 3 years and this is rate applicable for 4 years and this is applicable for 1 year. If you do 1.12 raised to 3 and if you calculate multiply these 3 numbers the value should be same. 